Welcome back to the Canary Wharf Squash Classic 2021. We're live now for what should be a very exciting second part of round two. Live from the East Winter Garden. Yesterday's matches throwing up no real scalpings in any shape or form for the seeds following to Ali Farag winning through to take on Rodriguez in the top half there the Mustafa Salah rematch with Tarek Moman the number three seed well look at that for a terrific lineup you've got James Wallstrop who's on immaculate form in this last phase on the PSA World Tour. He takes on Gregoire Marsh. Diego Elias coming off that win in Qatar. will play George Parker, Yusuf Solomon. He's up against the British Open champion and number two seed, Paul Cole. And finally, John Makin, who's making great strides in that top 10. He'll play the very experienced Indian number one, Surab Gosal. I'd like to welcome all our viewers that are tuning in live on the PSA Facebook page, also on the PSA YouTube channel. This match is going out free of charge just to show what the PSA World Tour is all about. Fantastic match to be stream free on those channels, so looking forward to this one. Hopefully we'll have some uh, decent sign-ups after this for the rest of the matches in tonight's play. It is the best of three format. All the way through to the semis where it will become best of five. But the players winning out tonight will go straight into the quarterfinals tomorrow. Gregoire Mar playing his 390th match. Just shy of his highest world ranking of 30. No signs of the acrobat slowing down. Hugely athletic. Has he got the mental strength and focus to deal with his opponent, the marksman James Woolstrop? James Woolstrop playing his 700th match on the PSA World Tour. Four time winner of this event. 38 years of age now, Wilstrop. With that staggering win rate, such an extensive career. A former world number one as well. Ignore that ranking of 24. The level that Wilstrop's been playing at has been right inside the top eight in the world and beyond, having won some massive scalpings in the US Open, particularly just two months ago. Joining me in the comms box for the squash this evening. We've got the very own Paul Johnson, PJ. Good evening, Joey. Can't wait for this battle. Oh, this is going to be an absolute cracker, and what a start to a rather enticing night of squash again here in the packed auditorium. Such a fantastic setting, we keep saying it, but just look at that view there. Spectators pretty much inside the court with these players. Time. Can't well, think of any other venues where they do get so close to the action. No, it's very intimate and it's perfect. The players feed off it. It's exactly how an event Time. should be set up. We uh, will be showing you the extensive East Winter Garden with the amazing VIP area. Up above, looking down on the players, it gives a, an amazing view for all those punters up there that have uh, bought a table, be, being wined and dined and enjoying a, an evening out watching the squash. It's been packed from day one. We had eight matches on Sunday. Every match was uh, full to the rafters all the way through. And it hasn't disappointed as it really does this event. They will start in 30 seconds. The VIP area, which is two tiered with a, a functioning bar there and the tables along the front, as you can see, and it just gives a lovely night out for 
everyone that wants a, they will start <laughs> a bit of whining and dining, but also seconds. to see the best players in the world charging around on this all-glass court. They're actually provided some very high-end uh, vino by all accounts. I should think so too, particularly when there's a Mary Wharf Classic Frenchman 2021 play. round two match. James Wilstrop of England to serve. Gregoire Marsh of France to well, receive. These two have played three times previously on the PSA Best World Tour. Gregoire Marsh actually has a two to one advantage. The last time Wilstrop beat Gregoire Double. was in 2013. Astonishing. Pretty much immaculate in his first round, James Wilstrop against Abulgar completely closed the court down. He kept the ball so straight, so tight, and ended up really frustrating Abulgar, who made quite a few unforced errors in the end. But it really was Wilstrop at his very best. The last two outings that these two played, Gregoire has come through those three games to love, but we have to go back to 2019. And then before that was 2016, so they haven't played each other that much. Uh, that's again trademark Wilstrop. Starting up. off, as he left off yesterday, the day before yesterday. Marsh is uh, jutting his jaw out towards Jason Foster. Jason Foster, a detective based in Wales. Not much gets past him, PJ. Oh, absolutely. We've tried. <laughs> Good hold and there out. from Gregor Marsh. Quick indication of the Final. athleticism of this talent from France. Well, the best of three format being utilized in the early stages of this event suits the event very well. Down. Perfect width from Wilstrop. And out, 2-1. Wilstrop's going to turn him over here. Well, if you're going on current form, last couple of events, he has been pretty much immaculate. If he's moving well, there's certainly no doubting his racket skills and his court craft. even having time to check out the funny bounce at the back of the court there. Seems to come off a little bit strange. It's just a bit heavy on bounce. the lob there from Greg Marsh. You could patient rally again. Fairly, Next side, please. fairly lengthy rally. 3-1. Well, it does need to be a decent lob against Wilstrop, to be fair. Six foot four <laughs> in stature. <laughs> That's before he puts his arm up in the yeah, air. It's probably about 12 feet. First played this event 18 years ago. James Wilstrop. <laughs> have been in your early 40s then mate <laughs> prime of prime of your ex 
resistance. Oh. Beautiful. Ball was good. It's a and lovely shot there from Marsh. Three. Played with a lot of finesse. Lovely follow through. Check this follow through out. Oh. On guard, this year. Oh my goodness. Who are you going for, PJ? You've been quite quiet. I have, I have. I'm just sensing a little bit here that Greg Marsh's game may not suit Will Strop. It's going to be a little bit, a uh, bit of an awkward matchup for it. And I can't agree with you, so I'm going to have to go for Wolfstrop on this one. <laughs> I said Wolfstrop. I said I can't agree with you by going for Wolfstrop. But you said I'm going to go for Wolfstrop. No, I said Marsh. He did. You said Wolfstrop. No, I said, said Gregoire Marsh. You did not I say said that. Because Marsh's style of play is a bit of a bogey. Here. Everyone knows well, it. We've got, it, we've got it recorded. <laughs> He's a bogeyman, put the wheels drop. <laughs> this is what you are at the moment. Giant bogey. <laughs> it's not very nice. Oh my word. He's got to play it. Oh, he needs to play that. Yeah, you're in his swing there. Oh, that's it's just the right decision, though. <laughs> it's strokes right today. 4-3. It's the right decision. That I was mean. a let yesterday. Well, I they think they've done their homework. <laughs> he can't swing there because his wheel drops in the way. <laughs> oh, my goodness me, you've changed the tune. What's your name? Joel Bonson. Played it, that's the difference. I mean, it's so rapid. One of the quickest players on the tour. Yeah, he's Greg up there, isn't he? Yeah, he's he up is. there, definitely. I mean, this is a very, very hard working rally. Funny way, I, I just feel that Gregoire actually quite enjoys playing James. Oh my word. I think we all enjoyed playing him, it just I enjoyed watching him, I'm not sure I'd have enjoyed playing him. Brilliant. Oh, what, what a brilliant. rally. What a rally. Quality These stuff. players are setting the standards for tonight's squash at the highest level. This is unbelievable. Gregoire Marsh was hugely disappointed with his performance uh, in the last event in Qatar, PJ. He really struggled to get over that one, so he'll be wanting to put the record straight Down. and move further into this tournament. And out. 5-4. Not much in it at all. Accurate work from both players. That looked like it was two to me. Yeah, the arm went up from Marsh. Now, ball was good. Ball was good. Left side, six four. Well, chuckles from the crowds. I think that went in somebody's pint glass, PJ. It's a double. Ball was down. Please. 
three-point cushion for the Frenchman. It's been a good start by him. He does have the odd uh, blip in focus and concentration. Stroke to Marsh. Player review, Wilstrop on the stroke decision. Just taking a look. There's contact there. Well, the shot, I mean, it's uh, prevented. Stroke to Marsh, it's because your shot, it's because the swing prevented the shot. Decision upheld, Wilstrop has no reviews remaining, 8-4. Been rock solid so far, Jason Foster. Court coverage. <laughs> that was and out. That was uh, very entertaining. That was beautiful from Wilstrop. He looked like a very tall ballet star. <laughs> and then the soft. <laughs> oh, <laughs> outrageous! <laughs> oh, PJ. I mean, how Six short nine. does this drop stay? Honestly, How low does he all get? those millions of people that are watching this on Facebook and YouTube are just in for such a treat. Out. Oh. And out, 10 6. He would have to say game that. Ball. Of course he would. Four game balls for Gregoire Marsh, who's played very, very well here. No sign of any edginess with the level of his opponent. When he gets Marsh. it right, Greg Marsh, Marsh there's the, the first PM. He's got Renan Levine in his corner, who he looks back for reassurance. <laughs> Hugely important for the Frenchman to take the first game in this best of three format, leading Wilstrop. What a fantastic start to this first match of the evening. Gregoire Marsh has the 2-1 lead coming into this battle. And I just sense that he feels quite comfortable playing against James Wolstrop. The Englishman not quite able to keep the ball straight enough and tight enough to close Gregoire Marsh down. And it's the Frenchman that's used his fantastic skills, taking the ball in short, that takes the all-important first game. Play will resume in 60 seconds. We will get a response from James Wallstrop. Gregoire Marsh, if he can continue with his retrieval abilities, keep the ball away from the tin, then this could well go the way of the Frenchman, PJ, as you're predicting. Well, you can never write James Wallstrop off. Uh, Not at all. Obviously, but he's one of the greatest tacticians of the seconds. game. And if anybody can find a way back, it is James Wallstrop. But Gregoire Marshall looks comfortable, looks confident. I'm not sure if we'll stop him, rattle him enough to get that drop in focus. Nine, Marshall leads. We'll just One see. Game to love. Nathan Clark getting a bit of footage Double. on the side there. Very approachable, friendly guy. But he's already got some amazing stuff in the front of the court, PJ. Straightened up a little bit more now. James will drop. This is what he did against Double Got. It's 
fine. He's in. Gregor Marsh is getting balls back with interest as yeah. well. There's the extra shot played. The short game of one low. He is defending well to be to be short. Gregor Marsh. Good exaggerated width. Out. Good squeeze again from Greg Womarsh. Ball drop that applied most of the pressure. Playing like he's seeding here, Gregoire Marsh, starting to show what he's capable of. Does make you wonder sometimes where this is on a regular basis, this kind of performance. No, but that's what I've been saying that for a long time, PJ, because technically he's very gifted. Gifted as a tremendous mover. Decent fitness level on him as well. And, you know, he's hitting his corners here. He's, he's playing Three very accurately and really quite devastating towards the back of the court. He's not missing a, a, sh a shot, is he? It's always beating the mental side for Marsh, and I just don't know if that will ever click in at the very, very highest level because he's got all these tremendous attributes. He's not being, you can't say from a technical point of view that he's uh, he's wanting. He's one of the best in the French team for me, if not the best. Natural, just natural technicality. Again, the lob, the lob is doing a lot of damage to Willstrop. Two shots doing the damage Damn. to Willstrop, it's the lob and the post. Pushing will throw up high and then taking oh, him low and no. short with the boast. And it's a hard movement for anybody, but especially if you're six foot four in stature. But again, it's been immaculate from Marsh. And he's more importantly, PJ, he's not made an error. Gregoire well, Marsh in this opening stage of the second game. Love. Come on, James. Come on, James. Marsh is seeing it like an absolute beach ball out there at the moment. You can't put a foot wrong. No, this is the best I've seen Gregoire Marsh play for a long period of time. He's so busy with what he's doing. to allow access. Player review, Wilstrot on the yes left. Decision. I think he can get that quite easily. He's on his way through. Bit of interference. The movement stopped just by the contact. Yes, that decision upheld. Wilstrop has no reviews remaining. Five love, left side. Yes.
penalty. That's brilliant. I'd like to see that again in that front well, left-hand corner. Will Strop will certainly be looking to query it. Again, good pressure to the back from Marsh. Video Stop. referee check. Marsh pick up front left midway through the round. So one that you call PJ, we can have a look at it. You can we can we can check. He's got it. Yeah, it was way up. It's way up. Pickup's good. Way up for Marsh. It's fine. It's absolutely fine. I don't understand why we're seeing it so much. It's way up. Absolutely fine. It's got that well before the second bounce. Ball was good. Point to a point to Marsh. Six love. That's two in a row for Wolstrop. Well, we know fully well that Wolstrop's never going to just lie down. Stubbornness, he is. Uh, although born in Norfolk, he's lived all his life in Yorkshire. And here's, here's the, the here's oh, the change. Six. And this is when you were saying to me about with Gregoire Marsh, when it is looking immaculate, it is like the French coming in in Agincourt, looking all gleaming in their fresh armour, and it's all going very, very well. <laughs> until the rain comes and then everything goes pear-shaped. Big rally, really. If you can get back to oh, four six, <laughs> Marsh is he's certainly teetering on the edge here. He is. He's on the edge. He's in. It's quite nerve wracking this rally. It's fizzing around, Marsh. Oh, it's clever. <laughs> he's so mobile, isn't he? It's quite clever what Marsh is doing, though. He, he, he's waiting until Wolstrop plays his shot before he sets off. With a lot of these quick players, they like to set off. Anticipate. They anticipate, and that's when you can hold and... and Cause a few issues, send them the wrong way, but Marsh just waits. Down. And there's the error from Wilstrop. Didn't rally. expect that necessarily, and but out. tremendous Seven rally and all credit three. to Gregoire Marsh after those couple of errors, knuckling down, putting in a hard, lengthy rally, grinding away. Because he knows he can get so much back, PJ, he's just waiting, and then when the shots play, then moves.
Brilliant. He's got it. So you just see the way he's back to the team waiting. Very good squash. Oh, very it's high quality. Squash. Very high quality from both oh, players. And that's oh. stayed in. <laughs> yes, legs. There's contact there. The legs. The legs actually <coughs> collide just a little bit. I felt that well there was done. sufficient interference on the swing. Right side, seven three. You see the leg movements here. Gregor Marsh, his right leg, as he looks to go through. I think it was the swing, actually. It wasn't anything, it wasn't, he actually made contact with the swing. Oh, he tried to find the nick, didn't quite get it. Just nicking out, frustrating there for Wilstrop. Eight, three. Yes, let. Felt we'd done enough to clear. Player review, Marsh on the yes, let. He's been very solid here. Decision. I agree with you, Jason Foster. I think this will get overturned, though, Joe. Do you? Yeah. I don't think so. This is going to get overturned. Just watch. He's not got the whole front wall. He's, he's onto that like a flash. Stroke to Marsh, decision oh, over. PJ, Marsh you're on fire. Has one review remaining. Good review there right for Marsh. Right side, nine three. Oh, he's lost his footing. Goodness stop, me. Stop, stop, stop. Uh, he fell in the, in the corner there, sweat. For the, for the I'm stopping it because of, I'm concerned of the safety. I can stop it any time if there's been a fall on the floor. Can we have some court service, please? Go on, Joe, go ahead. You, you would have the option straight away, but I've called it for safety. <laughs> Thank you. Again, that's very right good referee for me. We had a bit of an incident yesterday we where did. Marsh serving. play probably should have stopped. Nine three. Come on, Come on, He's obviously got a clear head. He uh, was in the gym earlier today, Jason Foster. Oh, he was throwing those 50 kilo dumbbells around for yeah, fun. Yeah, he was. He was giving it large with dumbbells. A bit, a bit angry from yesterday, perhaps. He was. He was furious with your comments. <laughs> well, that's because I don't sit on the fence. I'll tell you what, this is unreal. Oh, he's got it. This is well smiled from Greg Watmar. Go on, PJ. Out. If you had your own squash club in the Costa del Sol, Four, nine. you'd be booking <laughs> these two for an exhibition, that's for sure. They really complement each other's styles. Nice contrast. Wilstrop still battling away. 30 minutes we've had so far yes, for this left. first match. Four, Good service.
Oh, it's pretty good. Down. Oh, that's good pressure. And out, 10-4. This is going to be one of those matches in, in Match ball. Marsh's career. I don't know whether he actually had these, Joey, but you just, you're just you in the zone completely and you just play off your head. Did you ever <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, that only happened to me maybe a handful of times. But you just... Every, yeah. you, you, you can remember every rally. It's just crystal clear in your, yeah. in your mind. Amazing. Somebody that can't remember his own name, that's pretty impressive. <laughs> This is unrelenting stuff from Mark. Unbelievable. Yeah, it's too good. Yeah. yeah. For Mark. The best performance the I've seen Marsh. from Mark. It's a magnifique. 11-6. Absolutely magnificent. 11 Look the buff. That was excellent for Gregoire Mark. Acknowledged by Wilshire. Yeah, he it's an immaculate there. performance. I think we'll have to adjust the microphone. It's a little bit high. That's superb from Marsh. Confidence boost. Let's hope that he can continue this type of form consistently because if he does he'll make some serious inroads into the event unfortunately the microphone's going to be just above his head <laughs> really need to get a bit savvy with the microphone court maintenance team there greg why he's trying to pull it down yeah, here watch it. Let greg get he's his done breath it. back for a couple of seconds a, welcome, hear an interview, a very special visitor into the East Winter Garden this evening, ladies and gentlemen, sitting in the front row. He'll be helping Diego Elias a little later on. Jonathan Power, <laughs> former world champion from Canada. Good to see you, JP. Jonathan, I hear the paddles coming on well. I spies tell me he's playing a lot of paddle. Great, well played. Immaculate stuff, you're moving so well, you're looking so sharp. How do you feel right now? That must be good. Yeah. Well, first of all, uh, I want to thank uh, James for, for the match. Uh, it's always uh, a pleasure to play against. I mean, I've been looking his matches since I'm uh, maybe five years old, so yes. it's always special to first to be on court against him and then to beat him. Uh, he's, he's, He's done some, so many stuff for the squash, especially here in England. So, yeah, thanks, James, and I uh, hope... Uh, yeah. So, ladies and gentlemen, James Wilstrop. We even saw a little triple fake at the end there, Greg. Yeah, and I knew that, because I've been watching <laughs> this all my <laughs> career. So, now I've been uh, uh, playing well recently. And it's good to to get this kind of wins. Uh, it's never easy first round for me. I was a bit uh, worried about the court and the conditions uh, yesterday at the, at the training, and I I didn't feel feel very really kind of comfortable on the court. Mm -hmm. But today I was uh, really aware of the the first few rallies to try to find my length and uh, trying to uh, to pass him in the in, in the from the middle. And uh, yeah, and then it was a bit more, I could be a bit more relaxed uh, in the second and, uh, and I, I'm, I'm glad I managed to win all the way through and didn't give too many chip points today. You were playing some great stuff at the front. Yeah, yeah, yeah I, was, uh, I was moving well today and I was happy with uh, some of the shots that I didn't, I used to don't make this kind of shots, so it's, uh, it's good and I'm looking forward to, to play again tomorrow, yeah. Are you worried about who comes next? Yeah, of course, I'm going to watch uh, Diego and George. I uh, hope they're going to have a big battle. And uh, yes. I lost to Diego in, in last tournament uh, when I was two love up and lost 3-2. So I hope I, if I'm playing against him, I, uh, I'll take my yes. revenge. Yeah. yeah, great stuff. Well, Greg, congratulations. We'll see you in Thank the quarterfinals. Ladies and gentlemen, big hand for Greg Marsh. Brilliant performance. Some real quality squash. 32 minutes, impressive first match in tonight's play. Greg Marsh taking out James Wallstrop, two games to love. Really barely put a foot wrong, the Frenchman. Set that stall out early on. The first game was immaculate from him, but then we felt there would be a response from Wilstrop. 
it wasn't the fact that Wilstrop played poorly, he was just completely outclassed in pretty much all aspects of the game. Two love victory, he'll be brimming with confidence as he's now through to the quarterfinals and he'll be eagerly awaiting possibly Diego Elias in the next round. But that really was high class stuff from the number eight seed. One match down, we've still got three to go. And it's the new Qatar Classic champion, the Peruvian Puma, 